Hello, everyone. This is Rob Capellini, the director of VLAB. I wanted to quickly show you our climate risk analysis section. You can navigate to the climate risk analysis welcome page by clicking on the analyses dropdown and selecting climate risk analysis. On the climate risk analysis welcome page, the first thing you see are category and time period dropdowns, which allow you to select different categories of climate funds, for example, sustainable sector or low carbon funds. And you can also isolate by time period, viewing the statistics for the last year, three years, five years, an exponentially weighted time series, and for the entire available time series for each fund. If you'd like a better definition of what our exponentially weighted time series is, you can click on the what's on this page link. The first table you see displays the regression statistics for all the funds in our database for the selected time period. You can view the CAPM alpha, the beta on the stranded asset portfolio, and the beta on our climate portfolio on an equally weighted basis for each category of funds. The next table displays various benchmarks, both globally diversified benchmarks like the MSCI Acqui Index and the Spider S&P 500 ETF, and also climate specific benchmarks like the Spider S&P 500 ETF minus the S&P Energy Sector ETF and the Stranded Assets Portfolio. For a definition of the Stranded Assets Portfolio, see the help page documentation. The last table contains statistics for each climate fund in our database. For each fund, you can view the return, volatility, sharp ratio, correlation, and regression statistics. If you'd like a definition for each column, simply hover over the column's header. The correlation columns display the correlation of each fund with two time series that we've created in VLAB. These time series are based upon New York Times articles and use two different methodologies, the cosine similarity methodology and a methodology based upon tagging each article. They're represented in the cos, sim, and tag index columns. We also derive a climate efficient factor mimicking portfolio and the beta stranded assets and beta climate efficient factor mimicking portfolio columns display the betas from this regression. And we also display the alpha from a CAPM model. Again, for further clarification, see the help page documentation. At the bottom of the table, there are controls that allow you to select the number of rows per page and to scroll through the different pages. Lastly, if you'd like to sort the table, by different criteria, simply click on the header. Click again to sort in the reverse direction. To view the analysis page for a fund, click on the name of that fund. Here we can see the climate analysis page for the Invesco Wilder Hill Clean Energy ETF, which was last updated on Monday, October 18th. The first graph displays the performance of both the fund itself, which is displayed in red, and the S&P 500 index. The portfolio performance graph shows the performance of a portfolio, which is long the asset and short the S&P 500 index. And the portfolio volatility graph displays the volatility of that portfolio. To compare the portfolio performance to certain climate benchmarks, click on the compare dropdown menu and select the benchmark. Underneath the tables is the standard VLAB date select menu, which allows you to select your time window, either by clicking on the date select options, the pre-selected time periods to the right of the date select options, or using the interactive graph below to choose your window. At the bottom of the analysis page, we display the top 10 holdings for this fund, as well as the alpha cap M, the beta of the stranded asset portfolio, 
and the beta of the climate factor mimicking portfolio for every time period for this fund. 